Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Imam Zaranuji rahim Allah, he says the judge Imam Fakhr al-Din al-Aras Sabandi rahmatullahi alayhi was the chief Imam of Marwa. The Sultan held him in the highest regard. Fakhr al-Din frequently said, I have reached this rank only by serving my teacher, for I have served my teacher. Imam Abu Zayd al-Dabusi, rahmatullahi alayhi. Imam Abu Zayd is one of the imams in the Hanafi madhab. And he is one that is a pioneer in the science of Qawaid al-Fiqhiyya. I both waited on him and prepared his food for 30 years. But I never ate anything thereof. Imam al-Hulwani Rahmatullahi alayhi left Bukhara and settled for some time in a certain town because of an incident which befell him. His students visited him with the exception of Imam Abu Bakr as Zarnaji. As Zarnaji. Rahmatullahi alayhi in Jamia. When he met him, Al Huwaini, Al Hulwani, sorry, asked him, Why did you not come to visit me? Abu Bakr replied, I was occupied serving my mother. Al Hulwani answered, You will obtain a livelihood, but will, you will not obtain the splendor of teaching. And this is just what happened. For Abu Bakr lived most of his life in villages and was unable to carry on lecture. Thus, one is deprived of the fruits of learning when he slights his teacher. And only in a small way does he profit from his knowledge. And that's a lesson for the student of knowledge or for the would be student of knowledge. The adab is the priority when it comes to seeking knowledge. Adab is like the vessel which serves as the carrier of knowledge. Right? Adab or good manners or refined behavior. And when the people begin to be proud of themselves, including myself, this message is firstly to myself that we become proud, we become humiliated. We become humiliated. So the role of the teacher then is to teach the student adab, to teach the student how to have refined manners. But some refuse. Some refuse, therefore they lose. So there Imam Zarnuji Rahimullah is teaching us that the key is to have adab. So the role of the teacher must be respected. But when the student begins to tell the teacher how to teach and how to conduct himself, and when to study and when not to study and everything becomes following the student's desire then the path of ilm is blocked and that's what we find among many students of knowledge we have this problem that we believe that we are the ones that dictate to the teacher and it gets worse when there's money is in, money is involved because then we think we buy the teacher and we lose at the end 